Hey guys, it's Narissa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So this video is another cake decorating hack video, but it is a hack for lettering on your cake, which is one of the most hard parts about decorating a cake. So you do not need any specialized cake decorating equipment. All you need to be able to do is trace letters or designs. So if you're new here, I hope that you stick around. Now let's jump right into the video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a design that I really like. I'm just going to use a simple happy birthday script that I Googled for, and um, you can use any design, you can use any script. Like I said, this is a super simple hack that really all you need to be able to do is to trace. So I just found a simple happy birthday. I sized it and printed it off on my computer. Now I am just frosting my cake here really quickly. This is for my husband's birthday and he requested a Jell-O poke cake with just regular whipped cream frosting. I do have a video on how I make this cake. I will link it up above and also down below. It is so good. I honestly think this is probably becoming my favorite cake. It is not as rich or heavy as a normal like buttercream frosting birthday cake. So once I got my cake all prepared, I am going to take my happy birthday printout here. So you can see I chose a pretty simple script font here. And I'm just gonna tape it down on my table and imagining how I want it placed on the cake, giving it the right amount of spacing, but not spaced too far apart. And I'm gonna tape the happy birthday design down pretty well on my table. Next, I'm going to take some waxed paper and I'm going to cut it to size so that it covers my happy birthday. Now, I also want to be able to remove this fairly easily and also want it to fit on a sheet pan. The next part of this hack is really cool. We're gonna use white chocolate as our frosting, I guess you could say, to make our happy birthday design. So I'm going to take just some regular white chocolate chips and I'm going to melt it in the microwave. Now white chocolate or chocolate in general can be a little finicky in the microwave. So I first off will put it in a glass bowl and microwave it for 30 seconds. Take it out, stir it, microwave it for 15 second increments after that, stirring in between each increment until your chocolate is almost completely melted but you still have some chunks of white chocolate chips left. Then just give it a good stir and the remaining chunks will melt all together and that is when you are ready to put your food coloring in. Now I'm gonna use red because my Jell-O poke cake was strawberry and um, I'm not putting too much in here to make it a really rich red color it is more of a pink and that's fine with me. So I'm gonna stick with this pink color here and I have my warm pink white chocolate that I'm gonna put into a freezer bag. Now make sure you use a freezer bag. Don't use like a cheap sandwich bag because you could possibly break the bag and then you'll have a mess. So the unique thing about this frosting hack is that if you mess up, you can just wipe it off. So you can see I just messed up. I didn't like how thick the um, icing was coming out. It was too thin and um, I was a little shaky. So I went ahead and cut the tip off of my uh, freezer bag a little bit larger so that my line was a little bit thicker. So you can see, super simple. I didn't like that either. So I just wiped it off. Try it again. Now, one tip here is even though you might tend to want a really thin line, you don't want to pipe on a thin line that is going to break when we take this off and transfer it to our cake. So you want a little bit of a thicker line. Also, you wanna make sure that all of your letters are connected. If not, if you do have a little break, let's say in between the H and the A, it's not a big deal, you won't notice at all. But that's just a little tip that you wanna make sure and have a thick enough line of icing that it is um, a little easier to work with. All right, so I am happy with the way this happy birthday turned out. I'm gonna transfer it over to a sheet pan and put it in the refrigerator. Now, you can do this as many times as you want. I'm gonna do it again. 
and I just want to um, do this a few times so that I have a few to choose from if I you know don't like one or one is better than the other or actually if I happen to break one so here I go again trying for the second time it actually went a lot smoother this time and I felt more confident so that's why you want to go ahead and just give yourself a few tries with this because it's gonna look better each time you do it and then you know you have options and especially like I said if you break one which I did you will have a backup and you won't have to melt more chocolate but my tip here is to just keep going in a continuous motion tracing your design if you stop or if you kind of go slow and hesitate that's when you're gonna get a little bit of a shaky lettering don't forget to cross your T's and dot your I's now another cool thing about this cake lettering hack is that you can actually take a toothpick and smooth out any areas that you think have a little bit of a flaw to them so you can actually move the line you can fix a little peak in the chocolate straighten a letter all because we're using white chocolate and it's a little more sturdy a little more viscous than like for example a traditional buttercream frosting all right so now that I have touched up my happy birthday with the toothpick I'm just going to go ahead and carefully um, take the tape off and move this to the sheet pan and put it in the refrigerator to cool again now this does not take long at all to set up in the refrigerator and you actually don't even need to put it in the refrigerator it will set up in um, you know room temperature as long as it's not like super hot in your house but either way I just put it in the refrigerator because it went a lot quicker so you can see I didn't connect my H and A very well and it split apart but that's okay you don't even notice it at all um, I broke my B there but that's okay because I had a couple additional versions of happy birthday I also started to use my spatula and I had forgotten that really it's just easier to use your hand to pop off your lettering from the wax paper. Now it's time to place your hand lettering on to your cake. So you can see that I had a little bit of trouble with the word birthday because I didn't connect my letters well and I needed to have my tip cut just a little bit wider on my freezer bag so that it was um, a little thicker and a little more sturdy it turned out great and actually you could just do each letter individually if you didn't want to worry about breaking any of the letters because it really didn't matter but here is the finished product you can see it just added some extra little hearts to the top of the cake now if you don't want to lay these down on your cake if you have some nice sturdy letters you can also stand them up so that your um, happy birthday is more vertical. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. All right, so that is it. Definitely try this cake lettering hack. It is super, super simple and works in a ton of different applications. Let me know down in the comments if you try it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Feel place without you. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to, never wanted to